Thank you for your interest in hiring SMC students. This is a brief overview of how to share your job opportunities through our Hire SMC job board. We direct all of our students looking for jobs to log into their Hire SMC account. As an employer, we're going to walk you through how to create an account on this system. You will begin by entering the URL smc.edu slash Hire SMC employers, and then select Create Account. Once you create the account option, you will be asked to review the terms and conditions that all employers must adhere to in order to post on the Hire SMC job board. You may notice we are unable at this time to host employment opportunities for home-based businesses. We do require that all employers that register for an account have a properly zoned local business address where supervised work will be conducted, a valid office phone number and web address, all registered equipment for students to use that are required to do the job, and that you offer an hourly rate of minimum wage or above for non-internship opportunities, and finally that you have a valid business license and carry liability insurance. Should you not meet this criteria, we recommend that you reach out to other schools in the area whose students might be a better fit for your opportunities like UCLA, LMU, or a standard job board like Indeed.com. Often employers also find freelance job boards like Upwork.com to be helpful as well. If you do meet the criteria, please check that you agree to the user agreement, yes, and then click continue. Next, you'll be prompted to create your account. You'll be asked to enter your email. They use this to check if you already have an account associated with your email. If you don't already have an account, you'll be asked for all of your contact information and to create a password. Please remember to save your password somewhere because the system does not duplicate accounts. If you lose your password, then you, um, if you lose your password and start over, it becomes very complicated and can take additional time. So when you're asked to select your company, we ask that your, you enter your company name and select find. If your company is already in the system, please select it. If your company is not already in the system, please select add company. Once you select Add Company, you'll be prompted to fill in your account registration with the standard account registration fields. We recommend that you do share company information with students so that they know what industry you're in and they can research more about your company, mission statement, and values. You'll also be asked to enter an address for your company. PO boxes and home addresses will not be accepted per the employer agreement that you have signed. All of the information collected in this form goes through a validation process, so once you complete the form, it will be up to 72 hours before business hours before you'll have an approval to post jobs. Next up, you'll enter your contact information. Please note the required fields have red asterisks. You're not required to fill in out like preferred name or pronouns, just the asterisk information. Most of the contract information, contact information should have auto-populated with the company information, but you are able to edit it if you're representing a certain branch or division that has a separate location from the company headquarters. The final optional section of the registration includes six quick questions to gauge your interest in deeper involvement with SMC. From time to time, various programs look for industry partners for deeper involvement. Opportunities can include anything from offering design challenges to mentoring students, to reviewing student works, sharing your career stories and advice with students, and offering suggestions about what is being taught in various classes. If you're interested in any of these opportunities, we ask that you fill out this questionnaire. When it when opportunities become available, we will reach out to you. Please know that these events and requests don't come often, so don't panic if you don't hear from us. We will only contact you if we find a match. Once you have completed the registration, this message will appear on your screen alerting you that your account is under review. Again, it takes 72 hours for the approval process. Once your account is approved, you will be able to post a job. Now that your account is approved, we're going to walk you through how to post a job. When you arrive on your landing page, you'll find that there is both a video and a PDF available to answer any questions you may have about hiring an intern. On the left-hand side, you may select job slash internship posting, and please note the event request is not active at this time. When you enter the job internship landing page, you will select add new to begin your posting. 
After you select Add New to begin your posting, you'll be prompted to fill in the standard job posting information, including the job title, description, the salary. You will be asked to verify your contact information as it should be auto-populated from your registration form. And this is where you'll be asked to share your contact information with students. It is defaulted to yes, but we recommend you change it to no unless you want to be contacted by any student on the job portal. You will also be asked if you're willing to hire international students and if the position is offered remotely. If you're able, you are also able to select if you want this to appear to current students only or current students and alumni. Additionally, you may want to select a degree level requirements, but please remember that the vast majority of students at Santa Monica College are associate level degree students and their schooling is their first priority. So they tend to gravitate towards part-time jobs um, or opportunities that allow them to continue with their education and that don't have high degree um, qualifications. Um, we encourage you to be as open as you can and hire based on talent. The last category that you can choose from is major wanted. So you're able to select the majors that would be best prepared for the role that you're offering. Um, to give you an idea of the majors wanted menu, this menu includes the programs that we offer at Santa Monica College. We encourage you to be thoughtful about your selections as we want our students to be able to find your jobs based on the skills they're developing in their educational programs. You may select a whole area of interest or select a program on a program level. So for example, you could select all of arts, media, and entertainment, or you could just select that you wanted animation students or cosmetology students. Um, you can select multiple categories. Again, we just ask that you be thoughtful um, in your selections to help our students learn how they can apply their skills. Uh, the last step of your job posting is for you to set the application deadline and the application method. You will notice we have two choices for applicant collection. You can have the applications collected in the system or you can direct the students to a third party website. Um, last but not least, you're able to indicate here where you would like the students, whether you would like the students to submit a cover letter for your position. We hope that you find this system much easier than our last system, and we thank you so much for thinking of our students and for sharing your opportunities with us.